In my previous video, we looked at Levi's immaculate back take. Now we'll have a look at Joseph's genius back defense and escape. As Levi takes Joseph's back, he manages to trap Joseph's bottom arm. Joseph knows that if Levi crosses his feet while Joseph's arm is still trapped, he'll find it much harder to escape that trapped arm. So to prevent this from happening, Joseph monitors Levi's top leg, in particular that knee pit space, and prevents Levi from slipping into a body triangle. Once Joseph switches to the other side, the pinned arm is no longer pinned by the ground. He feels it is safe now to start peeling open Levi's foot with his left hand. It's interesting to ask here, could Levi have attacked the neck here and cinch in a choke, as both of Joseph's hands were preoccupied with dealing with Levi's legs? Let me know in the comments why or why not. Immediately after Joseph frees his arm, he misaligns his midline from Levi's midline by turning his hips to face up, whilst Levi's body is still facing to Levi's left. Joseph's hand immediately monitors Levi's leg, getting ready to either escape if Levi comes to mount by pushing his leg into single leg X, or trying to push the hook off to free his bottom leg. With the hand assist. Ready? One, two, three, go. I can always get my knees inside. Now comes the hand fight. Joseph quickly realizes that his resources spent using his arms versus Levi's legs is not resourceful. So he begins to try upper body escapes instead. It was at this moment he knew. Joseph constantly is monitoring Levi's choking hand and trying to win top hand position. For the next minute, Joseph and Levi are just hand fighting. But notice all the times Joseph gets top hand position right across the knuckle line of Levi, and the times when Levi does a good job getting cross wrist control, like so, Joseph strips those two before fighting for top hand position again. Hook in the middle, but you just can't. But this is really Levi's position, certainly yes, in the that's gear. that's what I was saying, yeah. You know, and it's gonna be interesting. And the other thing is, you know, Joseph had a very tough match, and then he yeah. had a very short break in between Yeah, the he had two. the shortest break of anyone here so yeah. far tonight. Here we see an example of Joseph stripping one of Levi's cross wrist grips, then winning top hand position. It's battles like these that make the back position so intricate and interesting. Hey Gordon, how do I strip a cross grip? I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm just gonna pommel it through this space right, right here. And from here I shoot it forward. Ah, oh, thanks mate. New York account on you. Levi finds himself in a position where his spines are aligned and his choking hand is quite deep. This is when Levi seizes the opportunity to strike and attacks the neck. Joseph makes a switch to the other side here and this does two things. Firstly, if Levi were to lock in a choke, it gives him a better fighting chance to fight the hands. Secondly, creating movement of any kind to try and misalign their spines again would buy him precious time to escape the strangle. If not, nullify the strangle altogether. This was not the case, however. I mean, it's tight, but Joseph's just kind of accepting it, right? Yeah, I think he's yeah, and with that deep now. Yeah, with that grip, it's going to be... It's not as I mean, he's putting the, the pressure on here. I think Joseph is thinking about tapping here. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not underneath the neck. Joseph just eats the side face crush here, then escapes. He escapes his lower body while monitoring Levi's hands, and finally, he turns his whole body in to escape into close guard. So, what did we learn today? Well... The best way to escape the back is with heart and an iron chin.